All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jack Myerskilter here with GatheringMagic.com. I'm here once again with Melissa Detour. Melissa, how are you again? I'm great. How are you? All right, I'm I'm okay. So uh, I hear you've been riding off uh, some wins this morning, right? This is day two of Pro Tour, by the way. Yep, yeah. I'm 4-0 today. I just uh, 3 0 a draft pod, and I'm currently 1-0 in constructed. Okay, so uh, your draft deck. Uh, what what strategy did you go this time? Uh, this time I was blue black, and I splashed red. And I had Etherling, so I can't really complain. And uh, my red splash was for Is It Staticaster and Hypersonic Dragon. Okay, so how did uh, Staticaster perform for you? Mostly like an anti type drinker card, or? Um, well, like in one match, it killed a bunch of like birds and the three one flyer with first strike. So it was like MVP in that match. Okay. Um, the other matches, it didn't really do very much. Like um, there was one point where my opponent had a zero five wall, and I attacked with a four four, and he blocked it, and I just had that guy and. He was very sad, but other than that, it was like, you know, not the best card, but yeah. fine. Alright, so like, Etherling, all stars are always, I assume? It's like, like probably the best card. Ever. Yeah, the, the best seven mana creature in this format. Right? Yeah, seven mana. That's what it is. <laughs> Alright, and then so, um, like yesterday, uh, what, correct me if I'm wrong, but you went a one and four in Constructed, is that right? That's correct. Okay, but today you're starting off with a win, so. Yep. Uh, do you still uh, like your deck overall? Um, I, I actually, and I guess explain to the viewers uh, what deck you're playing. Too. Uh, I'm playing Mono Red. Okay. Um, I can't really say that I like my deck, but out of all the decks that I had, I thought it was the one that could do the best against everything. Like every other deck I had, it would like lose badly to Esper or Green White or something. But I thought the Mono Red was just like it had good matchups against everything, and if if your opponent Mulligan, it was like an auto win. So that's why I decided to go with that. Okay, and I assume like uh, there's like there's a bunch of like blood barons of Skullcrack running around. You're probably running Mizzy Mortars for that or something. Yeah, I, yeah. I do have four Mizzy Mortars. I also have Skullcrack, so oh, okay. in case I don't have mortars, I can just like make them not gain life. Usually, if they tap out for Blood Baron, I should have enough damage to kill them if I have Skullcrack. Yeah, and um, a lot of either lanes, but I assume you just want to win before either lane ever hits the board. Yeah, if either yeah. hits the board, I probably already died. Mm -hmm. So. Just gotta win before that. Yeah, because if you didn't know, Eden also has Vigilance if you uh, blink it in and out. Yep. Alright, so, um, but yeah, starting off a uh, block structure with the win, that's good. So, um, any, any, so you still like your red deck, would you make any changes to it? Uh, actually, yes. Um, okay. Like, in my testing, I had this red-green deck that I really liked. It was basically mono-red, but it's flash green just for uh, Domri. Oh, Domri, okay. Yep, so, um, I should have just played that. But everyone talked me out of it and said, just go with Mono Red because Guild Gates are terrible, you're going to get bad draws and everything. But I think that if I played the Red Green, I would have had like such a better matchup against Esper. Like, the Red Green deck that I have was beating Esper like every time, so... Yes, yeah, because I said, like, a Planeswalker, they don't have any ways to interact with it, and it just gives you so much value over time, right? Yeah, if they don't have the Tension Sphere, they can't kill it fast enough. It'll go ultimate, like, every time. Wow. Oh, yeah, and, uh, and so for all of you who don't know, Dominator's ultimate, basically, it gives the creatures all abilities, so... Double Strike... Haste. Uh, Trample's one of them because yeah, he's green. Pretty much everything that you want in red green. Yeah, so, well, unfortunately, we didn't get to see that because uh, Melissa chose mono red, but maybe next time. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, but yeah, th I want to thank Melissa for uh, joining us here. Thank you, Melissa. You're welcome. And I wish you luck in the next few rounds. And uh, this is Jack the Mind Sculptor for uh, GatheringMagic.com signing out.